and welcome to ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Praknevsky, and today I have a quick practical tip inside After Effects, and it is how to apply a single mask to multiple layers. Now, this technique does come with a little disclaimer, and that disclaimer is this. It does have some limitations, so I'm sorry. Uh, and I will definitely address those limitations, but I think the benefits of this are far greater than the limitations you might face. So yeah, uh, let's dive right in and I'll show you more about this. Okay, for this particular example, I'm gonna use text. Uh, so I'm sorry if I'm gonna go in fast, but I'm just gonna set up a quick little animation here. Um, so bear with me here. Easing, okay, F9, do Control Shift K to do some keyframe velocity. And then I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna do Control R, R to bring my ruler and I'm gonna set this line here. Basically, I want the animate, uh, the text to go underneath this blue line. So something like that. Okay, and I'll shorten this layer. All right, so something like this. And then I'm also gonna duplicate it once. And then I'll label this one two. Do some, oops, do some kerning, okay, and I'll duplicate this again, and I'll label this one three. So here's my basic animation. So next thing I wanna do is mask out uh, everything underneath this blue line. And I don't wanna use uh, multiple masks for each layer. In other words, I don't wanna do track mask um, or track mat, and then I don't wanna do any um, blending modes as well, like these things. So what's the best way to do it? First, for this one, you have to use uh, shape tools or a pen tool. In other words, you have to use a shape layer for this. Um, you can get away using uh, solids, but you have to pre-comp and it just gets complicated. So I'm gonna draw a, a, a shape here that I uh, of this, basically like a mask. So I'm gonna draw it from here and it'll snap to my ruler or my guide layer here. So something like this. In other words, this area I want it to be masked out. And I'll label this mask. Okay. So next, once I have this one mask, and by the way, this mask will be used for all three layers. Next, I'm going to use this um, plugin called Set Mat. You can just type in Set Mat there, or just go to Effects. Oh, make sure your, your layer is selected. Go to Effects uh, Channel and Set Mat. And inside here, um, basically, Set Mat is right there. Inside here, you can just say set mat. You're gonna go to mask layer, which is here, and you're gonna grab alpha channel from it, uh, or apply it to my to this to this layer. And right away, you can tell that it applied uh, alpha channel. But we want to invert that, so just hit invert here, and there you have it. So next, what you can do is just uh, select this and do Control C to copy it, and then select your other layers and do Control V to paste it. So now everything below this blue line. Uh, will be masked out. So that's pretty awesome. But here's a dilemma. You're like, okay, that's great, but I want to feather this uh, edge. And with shape layers, it's, you, you know, it's not like uh, masks and stuff you do on, uh, on solids. You can't really do feathering. So, but there's a way around it. So you can use, uh, I know first thing I was like, yeah, let's do direction blur. You can feather that like that, right? So something like this maybe, and then hit feather. It's like, yeah, that should work but it doesn't see it in the alpha channel, so that's useless. So the best way that I know to do it is just do right click here and then go to layer styles and go to outer glow. And basically, um, I'm gonna bring this back up. If you go to outer, outer glow, um, in here you, you, you can set the opacity all the way to 100, but the size is where it's at. So you can bring the feathering size up like this. Um, you can control all these options, but once you turn it off, you can see that it, it's seeing the alpha channel. So that's that's pretty awesome. Another uh, another cool benefit with set mat is that you can do multiple set mats under one layer. So in other words, uh, if I create another mask, let's say something like this, uh, and I'll just label this um, mask two. And if I go back to one and just duplicate this set mat, and I can select mask two and do the same thing and just turn it off so you can see that basically the sky's the limit. You can have as many uh, set mats as you'd like, and that's awesome. Uh, and another cool thing about it is that you can keyframe it. So I, I can keyframe uh, it here and then go uh, one 
uh, frame forward and then I can say off and then as you can play it you can see that it's there and then it's not there anymore so you can also keyframe that that's a cool feature so I showed you how to do it with text with text is pretty much easy to do it as long as you use shape layers but it does get a little complicated when you use stills footage uh, vectors and I'll show you next uh, what I mean stills and footage now this is where it gets a little complicated but not a whole lot so let me explain so let's say you have um, uh, an image and you want to do the same method I'm gonna bring two of them in here actually so you want to do the same method uh, you want to use the same method we did with text um, and so basically we're gonna make our mask the same way we did it with, with the text so something like this we'll label this um, mask uh, and next what I'll do um, I'll select my two images and I'll apply the set mat on it and I'll tell it to grab mask the alpha channel apply the alpha channel there invert it so the same deal but here's a problem when I move it you can tell that it's doing something funky <laughs> like this one is delayed that one is not basically I want everything to be masked exactly according to this mask but it's not doing it so how do I fix it the only way I know how to fix it is by pre-composing your uh, your stills so in other words to use this method you have to pre-compose your stills or your footage um, anything raster or yeah anything raster so and all you have to do is control shift C and hit, uh, hit pre-compose and do the same thing for this one control shift C pre-compose and then after you're finished it's still doing the same thing you just have to make sure that you do you uh, collapse the transformations and then you'll see let me hit P to show then you'll see that it's doing exactly what you want which is awesome so yeah just keep in mind using if you use stills and footage you have to uh, pre-compose them and then um, make sure the continuous uh, the collapse transformations uh, is checked vectors now vectors will give you problems as well and I'll, I'll show you what I mean so here's my um, logo it's an illustrator file so it is a vector so let's say let's do the same setup we, we, we did for the images so I'm gonna draw a mask in here and something like that and um, I will apply my set mat effect to my logo here and I'll do the same setup so alpha channel invert and right away let's if we drag this we should know if we're having problems and we are you can tell that it's delayed it shouldn't be doing that so how do we fix it for vectors now for stills we pre-compose the layer for this one you don't have to do that all you have to do is just select this continuously rasterize thing and it will fix your problem so if we hit P here you can tell that it's doing exactly what you want all right so this is the end of this quick tip I hope you found it useful uh, and if you didn't I'm, I'm very sorry for wasting your time but uh, also subscribe to my channel please uh, comment share the videos and um, like me on Facebook uh, I would love to hear from you guys and actually I've been hearing from you guys and it's been great so thank you very much my name is Sergey Praknevsky and this is ukramedia.com